following video is not a polished episode. It is purely the highlights from a live stream investigation done on a phone and at the mercy of reception. These videos are designed to show you some unique places, give you the history and give you any happenings that we might have had. Are they paranormal? I'll let you decide. Excellent, we've got motorcycles and all sorts going past. So, all right, welcome to our second investigation in the USA. So we're quite excited about this one. I've known about this place since, I reckon it was the 80s, 90s, when it first appeared on sightings. And I never put together it was the same house until a short while ago. But what we've got behind us is the Sally House. So you've probably all heard of that. And we had to come to it, it's on our bucket list, so. Behind us, number 508. Now, we've been in already and we've set up, so it's all ready to go for an investigation. But I thought we'd take you around, give you a bit of... Now, the first thing, the str it's not as big as I thought it would be. Um, so it shouldn't take too much effort to cover this whole house. So Now, the house was built in the mid-1800s, so I think it was around about 1867 to 1850 something three I think it was so it, kind of in that time period and it was built by Dr Finney who actually did medical practice here and operations here for a while in fact if you come into the kitchen you're going to find an operating table well they've set it out like an operating table so as it would have been maybe in the day with the kit bag and kind of the anaesthetic and rubbing alcohol so it was said, yeah, it's a creepy picture, isn't it? So creepy. It's a cool one, though. Yeah. So it was said that Finney was operating in here, doing minor operations, and Sally, this young girl, was brought in. She was in a desperate state. Her mum brought her in. This is the way the story goes. I don't think there's actual documentation to kind of verify this but it seems to have become part of the story of the building. So she was brought in here by her mother. She was very bad. She had appendicitis and it was about to burst. So it was said that Dr Finney did not have the time to administer anaesthetic or wait for it to kick in. So he operated on her while she was still conscious and it was said that she was writhing in pain um, terrified of the doctor, as you can imagine, a child would be terrified of what was about to happen. But he knew that the appendix was about to burst. He had no no choice but to go in there. And unfortunately, she did pass away on the table. So is that true? Well, we're not sure. Uh, there's been no verified kind of stuff on that. We have been trying to do as much as we could. We have found three deaths in here, or supposed three deaths in here. One of them was Finney, who apparently died in the house. Then Finney's daughter Agnes, she continued to live in this house. She actually married. Now her husband got very sick while they were away. He was brought back here and he died in this house. And then it, basically Agnes died in the house as well. But she was in her 70s apparently when she died in here. So maybe it's not just a child here, maybe there's other people here as well. So we're not just going to focus on a child, although the rumour is that this little child does not exist. And uh, maybe, obviously, everybody's heard it, that perhaps it's an entity, a demon, if, uh, that basically is just taking on that persona. That painting, though, I can believe that. <laughs> That has to be, it's the best drawing ever. I think it's a fantastic I drawing. I would love to have I don't know that. who did it. Oh, I don't know who did it. It's a chicken at the bottom there. Yeah. Um, but, just like, yeah. yeah. It's, uh... But how cool. Yeah. So, so cool. So, now, I opened this door, and this is the cellar that I kind of jumped back from it. It just felt very creepy. Um, I don't know if I can get up to the top of the steps just to kind music, of I might set the music box off, guys, yeah. but I'll give you a bit we of an idea. We can't go down there because we won't get reception. What do you think down there, guys? How creepy is that? This is Sally's bedroom. Right here. Now, 
Lots of toys, lots of trigger objects, lots of things for her to play with. You know what I might do? So. Put that at the top of the stairs. Yeah, I was going to get a ball and put it at the top of the stairs, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Apparently it comes down the stairs sometimes. Another little bedroom. The creepy thing is, why would you have cupboards so high up? I know. That just makes it doubly creepy. Look at this, it? guys. <laughs> it's like you, you can crawl under there. Huh? That's a bit creepy. You know what it is, you know when you're, when you're younger yeah. and you always wonder if there's a monster under your bed? Well here you've got your own Tularia. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be worried about it under the bed, would you? No. Okay, so this is a nice room. It's got a lovely cane furniture in here. That's not a creepy little room in there all on its own, is it? I know. What's this one? One day during a normal Sully house tour, a four-year-old girl became missing. The girl was found in a closet with the door closed. She later said, I was playing with that little girl. Had Sally found a playmate? So I gather they mean this little room here. Make sure that door doesn't shut. Okay? <laughs> it's a creepy little room, isn't it? And that's about the house. So I'm not, we're not going to take it down in the basement because down there we'd lose signal anyway. But it's very small, so it's not going to take a lot. <laughs> What? India. How many stars to lock Cag in the cellar? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And they hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah, just... if you want Cag in the cellar on her own. They are very odd shape. I'm changing the subject rapidly. If you want, to, if you because I I was in the basement with in, well, India will back up. We were, I went in the basement of the Abbey, Holy Cross Abbey, on my oh shit. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? I don't know, pareidolia. What? What happened? Seriously? I went like, sorry, it, it was not paranormal. It was stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> I turned like that, <laughs> and at the corner of my eye, I thought I, I saw something low with a face, just in the corner here looking at me. <laughs> it's a bloody paranormal. <laughs> Turret down there, yeah. <laughs> Can I just tell you though, who's the person that put the equipment down in the basement? So who went down on that? And then who collected, who collected it back afterwards? But who sat there on their own? The family lived in the house for nearly two years. The last straw was when the husband felt a strong shelf from behind and his feet. That's the Pickmans. Yeah. So going back to what I was saying, pushing, flying in the direction of the railing at the top of the stairs. Going back to what I was saying on the history is everything was fine until the 1990s, I think it was 1993, two, three, and Tony Pickman moved in with his family. Now, the kids of the family were never touched. The kids of the family and his wife was never attacked, but he started to come out with these massive scratches and welts everywhere. Now, if you can find the old sightings episodes, try and find the old sighting episode on the Sally House, because they did a couple of episodes, I'm sure it was more than one, on the Sally House with the scratches and everything else coming up, and they were filming them coming up. So definitely have a look at that. It does seem to hate men, which is a problem, Keg. Yeah. Because we don't have any tonight, unless no. we go outside and go and grab one of those people who would keep driving past. Yeah. Okay, you need to talk us a bit. I need to get it closer to you, or you need to talk louder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that close enough? Probably. All right, I'm just wondering, Sally, I've heard there's a little girl called Sally here. I'm just wondering if you're here tonight. I've got no men here tonight, so you don't have to worry. On reviewing the footage, I came across a low rumble. I ignored it at first, thinking it was a car. My name's Alison. My name is Cag. Why is it fly around me? <laughs> it's just gone past me, so it's all good. Okay. Um, yeah, they can hear you fine. Okay. Everything's going off. My camera's just run out of battery power. My name's Alison. 
My name is Cag. Why is the fly around me? <laughs> it's just gone past me, so it's all good. Okay. Um, yeah, they can hear you fine. And then I happened to look back on the sightings episode of the Heartland Ghost and suddenly realised this sound had been captured before. We heard this. I'd like to, for you to show them that you're really here. That anomalous low-level noise wasn't heard in the field by producer Craig Armstrong. They had Rick Wilson, then president of Digisonic, who worked alongside the FBI and CIA. Look at the footage. This was his finding. We looked for a lot of the, the characteristics that would immediately identify it as a definitely mechanical sound, as a definitely an electronic sound, and those were ruled out. Or maybe there's somebody else here, Agnes? Would you be here tonight, Dr. Finney? If you're here tonight, you want to come and say hello? We've brought you some presents or some offerings or gifts. It's up to you if you... Right, should we do an EVP? Yeah. Why is going to be the death of me soon? So I'm going to put this down there, away from me. I'm just going to ask some questions and hopefully you can put your voice and answer us on that. So we've given you our names, we've introduced ourselves and I know there's several people that might be here still in this house. I'm just wondering, so we know who we're talking to, can you give us your name, please? Can you tell me, um, did you have a problem with the man that used to live here, Tony? Was it just you didn't like men or you don't like men? Or was it you just didn't like Tony? Okay. Can you tell me, um, did you have a problem with the man that used to live here, Tony? And again, we've been told that we may get nothing because there's no men here tonight. It's just us girls. So... But we'll just see if things warm up a little bit. Closet. That does say closet. Closet. And then what's the other one? Dress. Dress. I'm just thinking like a closet upstairs. Closet room upstairs. It's a little creepy room. It is, and that's where that little girl went to play. With the little girl. The little girl, yeah. So that's all right. If you don't want to talk to us, that's okay. You don't have to. We're not here to make you do anything you don't want to do. We're just happy being here. I've always wanted to come to your house. I've heard about it. And maybe you can do something that's a bit different. Right? For instance, if I knock on the table here, Are you able to do the same sound? Are you able to repeat that? But if you are here, if there are any children here, on the little red light on the floor, I've put what you call gummy bears. It's a strange name, isn't it? And what they are are sweets. They're ever so cute. Or candy, depending on what you used to call candy, them. Candy, sorry. Language barrier. And I've put them on there because I don't want to eat any more. <laughs> so Kag and me have eaten a lot of them tonight. So we're probably a little bit bouncy. Did you used to eat candy? 
Try the ghost box first in here. Yeah. I might sit on the floor because it, again, it could be an adult here, but if it's a child, then I'm probably going to be less intimidating sitting down there at the child level. So I might take the cards as well. Yeah. And we can sit down there. I don't remember where I put my cards. Uh, behind you, on this side here. Yeah. In which case, you, you might be better on here, come a bit closer. Yeah. Um, oh, can I borrow your phone? I'm never going to get up again, guys, but... So this would be the last sighting of see Oh! oh. <laughs> Why? Why? Just why? Right. Explain, I've got bad knee, and it just gave out there. <laughs> It's going to move around. <laughs> oh dear. You me the speaker. Yes! It's a broken radio. We know. Well, I've got no sound. It's weird. That's a fridge. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nope. That's strange, isn't it? Uh, yep. Is that better? Everything is just. Um. Like Amy says Charlie likes to play with the electronics. Oh. And phone mics mess up. Well, definitely it's this, all messing up tonight. Is this the third ghost box then? It's the second. I'm just... Well, no, because you use other ones. It's three ghost boxes. Yeah. That's a bit better. Hello. Are you okay? I'm okay, yes, thank you. That was ghost tube I've got on as well. That's as loud as I can get it, guys. Sorry, it's a bit ungainly as well. All right, so if you are here, there's a little box right here that you might be able to manipulate. Is that like my name then? Yeah. I'm going to put the Vox on, for those who don't know, it's Amy's Crypt, it's Ghost Tube, it's the Vox. And instead of doing what this one does, which is go through the radio station, so people are wondering how it, in a nutshell, works, is it's not programmed for random words or anything like that, it's actually got stations online programmed. Instead of being from a radio station, it's from the internet. Tell me off if I'm wrong, Jared. <laughs> so, they're still doing the same thing. Okay, Alison, this camera. Yeah. Camera battery was full. Yeah. Okay, 30 minutes left then. So it's gone already. Yeah. There's nothing coming out of that as well. It's usually get something. And just to show I've got the volume up. There's nothing. All right, well, we'll just keep going with this. It's not constantly throwing things out, so it's obviously... Yes. You're dangerous. You're dangerous. Was that we're dangerous? Yeah. No, we're not. We're not dangerous. We're not dangerous. Clumsy, but not dangerous. <clears throat> oh, that wasn't creepy. I no. see you. That was a clear I see you. I'm glad you can see you. I'm glad you can see you. I'm glad you can see you. Right, for instance, if I knock on the table here, are you able to do the same sound? See you. I'm glad you can see us. We can't see you at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
Is there a Mr. Finney here? Dr. Finney, are you here? I'm sorry if we're intruding on your house. I wonder whether he's doing Estus. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Do you? Me, yeah. Uh, I stand at the top Just of the stop. stairs to the basement. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it when I opened that door. <laughs> I keep this on as well. And you've got me and you've got Vox at the same time. Okay. You've got the best of both worlds. It's my phone. It is. <laughs> it's the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm going to get you locked out. That's why it turned off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anybody with us tonight, we've got a lady just in the doorway there with some funny things on her ears. If you can, you can talk to her through those. Thank you. Excellent. So, my name is Cag. I know it's a really strange name, but what's your name? Can you tell me that, please? Help. Sounds like help coming from the uh, box. What would you like us to do? Look. Look. Okay. All right, ma'am. Oh, cool. Where do you want us to look? Mm. But it still feels like I'm being watched from down these stairs. Oh, really? It could just be imagination. <laughs> what we just done? What was just done? That? <laughs> Sorry, that's how on edge I am standing here. All right, I just swore when that happened. Beast. Children! Well, how many children are here? Can you tell me that? Yes. Who's that? My name's Cag. I'm, I'm with my friend Alison. I just want to talk to you if we can. If there is somebody with us, can you tell me how many ladies, how many living ladies are in this uh, building, please? In this home? Here now. Cool. How many ladies can you see? Okay. You're right. I think they shouted in my ears. Okay. Oh, that was a hiss. That was really weird. Oh, she just jumped. <laughs> Did you see a jump? No, I don't know what that was. Curse. English. Yeah, does that give it away? We are English actually originally, but now we live in Australia. Here for me. Michael. Okay. Seven. Seven what? Tracy. Beast. Bye. Oh, don't leave. Or do you want us to leave? Watching. Okay. Who are you watching? Can you tell me? Can you tell who me? Who am I? We don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. Who are you? Who are you? Well, I'm just here just to say hello to Dead. you. Dead.
I'm getting not ready, I'm getting very angry. Feel. So why are you getting angry? Can you tell me why you're angry? Don't. Did you want us to leave? Do you want us to leave? Devil. No, I don't think there's a devil here, not in the slightest. This was a family home. Word best. <laughs> okay. So, fatherless person, in other words. Okay. That's not very nice, is it? Touch my hair. Leave. You keep saying leave. Can you tell me the reason why? We're not being disrespectful. We don't want to hurt you. Something off. Okay. Peter's jealous. Downstairs. A man. Who's the man? Leave. Female, leave. This is somebody down in the basement. Down there. Yes, they. Is he? Is it a man? One. one. Dead. Oh, one dead. Dead. Oh, okay. So he isn't very nice down there. You hear the faint scream. Did you lock the door? Yes. Okay. Get yeah. out. Well, look, we really, we're not here to be rude. We're just here to talk to you. The lady. Which lady do you want to go down there later on? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Which lady do you want later on? Do you want Alison or Cag down in the basement? He wants you. Which one? I He wants who? For sure. <laughs> he wants who? Alison or Cag? you got to say a name. Yeah, I've heard that. My name. I think my name. Or oh, you want Alison to go down there? He's out there. Okay, who's out there? We need names. Laughing. Help. What, what help do you want? Dead. Sorry that you're dead. Anything that can, right. can you just step away from the stairs because you're freaking people out at the moment? I've stepped away from the stairs. Yeah. Can you just step away a little bit further? <laughs> Balanced. Okay. That has to be the most disturbing one I've done. But chills, I. It has to, I was, I kind of had a lateral voice coming through. I couldn't make out what I was saying. That's why I was like jumping. I saw you jumping. I, yeah, because it, it was <clears throat> right in the ears. And I couldn't work out what it was saying. And I got very, I don't know if you noticed my breathing changed. Um, no, I saw you jumping. I got very angry. Yeah, I hope, yeah. And I wanted to cry. Okay. <laughs> And it's, I don't know, it felt, that's the um, most intense one I've done. I asked who they wanted to go downstairs. Yeah. And then you came out with me, my, my name, me. 
Right. As in you. Yeah, when my name came out. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to have a breather. Um, I don't know. That was... Yeah, probably the most one that's caused me the most anxiety to do because there was a... Is that Sally? Uh, I thought you said Australia. I wouldn't be running through Australian. I was yeah. a Sally. I'll have to listen back on that one. Um, probably the most disturbing one I've done, and it's. I don't know, it has rattled me a little bit. All right, uh, well, guys, welcome to the Sally house. Uh, yes. <laughs> Did you hear that? Curse. No, what? that said Alison. Did it? I thought it said curse. No, I thought it said Alison. That's not me. Yeah, That's not, not me. You. I have not Because you've been moved. standing there the whole time. I have stood here the whole time. And if it was me, my leg would still be making it go off. Yeah. Is that you next to me? I have never known that one go off. But then again, you've never put jelly bears next to them. Who's standing next to me? I did not move my feet, guys. No, she didn't. And I'm still stood in exactly the same spot, and it's not going off now. So what caused that to go off? Now it gets weird. It's almost like it's changing in here, isn't it? Yeah. Are you are you yeah. feeling it? If I feel on I'm edge more now. More on edge now. Mm, I thought it was just going to be a really quiet night. We'll just back up early and go back. Going upstairs isn't feeling comfortable anymore. <laughs> no. It's just changing, and I wasn't hearing a child. That was not a child I was hearing. Right. What the hell? Do we want to boogie down? We didn't even go anywhere near that. I'm just, I'm just over here. You're not anywhere near just, it. Let me try this. This is what I did. Are you ready? You think it could? Let's try it again. No, you just picked it up then. Yeah. That wasn't putting down. No, Daddy. A bit much for me now. Well, pick it up. Yeah. So it could be you. That was a bit creepy. It was a bit. <laughs> oh, shit. What was that? That was your case. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm glad you are. I'm glad I'm you're not. ready. We're not, but hey. I'm not when I'm standing at the doorway here with my back to the hallway. <sighs> All right, so if there's anybody here with us tonight, just wonder if you um, would like to talk to us. Have we got, um, what's we called Sally in here? <coughs> Sally, sweetheart, if this is your room or well, this is where you can come and play with the toys. Can you let me know, please? Can you light up one of the lights or play with one of the toys? Just let me know that you're here. I've actually bought you a little cow just over there. I think you can say she's standing <laughs> right by the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so if there's anybody with me, can you just let me know who you are, please? I don't mind you being with me, that's fine. If you could just tell me who you are. Come on, if you, we'd love it if you just, I know you're not circus animals and I really, really do appreciate, apologise, appreciate, apologise. If you could just do something for us, just let us know that you're here. Yeah, I can sing for you. Oh yeah, great singer. <laughs> Queen. There's a child here going to sing me ring the roses. Okay. Do you know what that sounded like? Yeah. 
That wasn't a sweet girl. <laughs> oh, what was saying? Do you want to sing? And it said Queen. Oh, really? You've never been pinged for that. Mamma mia. This they call her. Here I go again. I'm That's Abba. Well, you started that. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. Oh, that one. Just say queen. Oh, you're slow no, these days. <laughs> it's like nothing computes in your head anymore. <laughs> I've been with you for a year for too long. You've drained <laughs> on my brain cells. <laughs> Ready? That's what we're doing now. Singing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I've lost it. Oh my gosh. I was hoping to make it to 60, but Bring it's no way. Alright. Mama just, just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. It's a happy song. Mama. Life has just begun. But now I've gone and thrown it all away. Job. Did that just say, oh, <laughs> good God. Job. Good, good job. Uh, did you like that, then? We sing like... We sing like larks. Where do I... Well, that pillocks. <laughs> I mean, that... There's off... Up there. So, did you enjoy our singing? That was a gift. The... That was a gift to you. <laughs> the problem was a refund. <laughs> well, do you want to put the headphones on? <laughs> Debt. Save some money. And that's funny that it says save some money when they're talking about debt. Bye. Oh. Bye. Ask. Um, are we talking to a gentleman? I got a feeling we're not talking. What... Not talking to a child. We're talking to a grown up. Bye. Oh, bye. Anybody else want to Huge. talk? Can you give us your age, please? Well, out. Don't want us to be Sorry. here? Sorry if we're annoying you. You can't. We don't mean to. Maybe you can go over there and touch right. Craig. Can I help you? Oh, well, we're hoping so. Can you go to CAG? And cool her down. Can you try and touch her, please? Yes. Oh, good. Well, can you go over? Maybe just oh stroke her face. Play with her hair. Any fingers? About running your fingers down her back. She think. Please. No, please. Back. I got Yeah, the back. There's <coughs> lots of talking, but it's very fast and not clear. Yeah. Do you want to go out in the hallway? Yeah. Did he live in the house? Transfer him. You're just visiting the house. Maybe you're here because of us. Because we're chatting to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. How are you doing? I am doing really well. How are you? Probably. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That just went off. Nobody's near it. All right. Well, nobody's moving. Nobody's moving. <laughs> I'm so um guys
Look who's in mine. Yeah, look who's in your bedroom. Former. Is that you playing with it? The thing came on. The thing did come on. Oh, my God. The thing did come on. Got away with it. Well, you didn't get away with it because we noticed. <laughs> oh, now it's gone creepy. Just when I said. Oh. Yeah, oh. Well, thank you. If that was you playing with it, very, very appreciated. Don't know. There's a creek over there as well, guys. Is it Ash? Somebody said the name Ash before everything I'm went really off. really struggling to hear clear words. <laughs> you just missed. What? That was creepy as shit. Not so. The toy went off. Oh, you're joking. No. I'm, I was sitting here not moving and it started going, Daddy? Daddy? Oh, my God. Ooh, what do you reckon? Go down and do the cellar? Or yeah. the bedroom? Or... Oh, why don't you do the bedroom and I'll do the cellar? Could do. Mm. Get two of them done. Cag is down in the basement now on her own doing a lone vigil all right so i'm just wondering if there is anybody here in this room with me tonight i'm on my own upstairs so there's some sounds out there that was my stomach guys we put some lights out some knocking coming from the bedroom I was just wondering if you'll come and you'll put your voice on here I'm going to put it on this cupboard here next to me so I don't know if you heard earlier I was into introducing myself my name's Alison I think my name's been said a couple of times and I'm just wondering if there's anybody else in the room with me, if you could put your name on there, please. But why has the room suddenly gone blurry, guys? Is that you affecting my camera? Oh, thank you. Is that with, so that was you? All right, so that's the EDI going off. That was you affecting my camera. Were you just going past? That's all right, all the toys are there for you to play with. It's a way of letting me know you're there. That was a creak in here as well, like a footstep. Thank you. My camera's about to run out. That was a full battery, guys. Thank you. Can you let my camera run for a little bit longer? Maybe you can use the lights in the doorway as a yes and a no. What about blue for yes? Red for no. And I'm just going to say we've got that creepy doll in there that said things earlier, but um, it's very quiet now. Seems to be all the EDI. Is there a child in here with me? Maybe more than one child. Craig, next to me here. I'm going to listen back. Well then let's do an EVP burst, okay? So, I'll record.
Is anybody here tonight? My name is Kak. I'd love to talk to you. Could you tell me what your name is, please? I'm finding it quite hard to breathe down here. <sighs> it's warm as well. You're the one that tried to freak Alison out, Lily. But that were you. Can you tell me why did you do it? Are you trying to be funny? Come and you'll put your voice on here. I'm going to put it on this cupboard here. Oh. Alright, I'm going to put a speaker in this. That was a big bang out there. What the hell? Everybody hearing that? There it is again. Why does this camera keep going blurry? The hell's that? Why does this camera keep going blurry? That's weird. Battery ran out as well. Thank you for trying to communicate today. Much appreciated. You must get sick of people coming in here. Day in, day out. Looking for a child called Sally. We've had nothing that would indicate a Sally tonight. Maybe that's just a story that's told over the years. A lot of people think you're a demon. I'm not so sure about that. I'll just do another EVP. I'm going to try this again. I'll put this here. And just see if anybody does want to put their voice on this box. How many of you are here? How many of you are children? next to me. If I do this on the cupboard, could you maybe copy that? You know, we're just curious. See if there is anybody here. All right, so I can hear Cag moving around now. So I'm just going to switch this around, guys, in a minute.
Is that you, Keg? Keg? There's a flash of light to the side of me here. I don't know if the camera caught that. Okay, it's not answering. In this house, you you can hear if she was just downstairs. Can hear noise upstairs. Talk to the kitchen area. Sounds like a few footsteps. Alison is in the bedrooms, so that the floor between us. Is that you trying to do something? I suppose things are changing in here. It's a little bit more edgy, whether it's just me or not, I really don't know, but it does feel a little bit more edgy. Well, I'm going to sit here until you do something for me. That's what I've decided to do. I'm going to sit here until you do something. <laughs> Oops, I can't even hold this now. The noise is over there. All right, it's gone quiet again. So that wasn't Keg. And I didn't think, well, I did think it was Keg because she's down in the basement. And coming up the wooden stairs of the basement, coming through that door and through coming through the kitchen is quite noisy. It's not feeling too bad up here at the moment, despite the noises, which is extremely creepy. The other thing that's interesting me is that doll, that robot. It's only gone off once tonight, which means it's in that cupboard, by the way. It means that it's not just glitching all the time. It's, yeah. You never talked? I'm going to do anything? So sad. I was hoping for more. We all want more, don't we? I was hoping you're going to live up to the reputation of the Sally House basement. Parsons have more luck upstairs. So, Keg, we're finished. We, finished. we have finished. We have finished the Sally house. We have. It's time to pack up and go home. It is. So, it's been on your bucket list as well. It's been on mm -hmm. both our bucket lists, hasn't it? Yeah. So, you know, like, what, what's 
He surprised me. Yeah. In a way. I mean, nothing much has happened for me. It's been mostly It's been you. me. Um, it's usually never me. Yeah, but it's um, it surprised me. Yeah. Because when I walked in, I thought, oh, it's just a house. Just a house. Yeah. And then darkness fell. Yeah, then it changes a bit. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. all right, well, we're going to say goodbye to the Sully house. It's been fun. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a few things happen, nothing bad, apart from when it was a bit tense, when I had the headphones on. Yeah. So, we just want to, I don't know, what do we want to do? Um, go to bed. We do. Okay. So we just want to say thank you. We just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting us and following our journey so far. Um, we do have some more investigations to come, so we will be doing those. And uh, But for now, we're going to go and get some sleep. As you can see, I'm looking rather disheveled and tired. Wait till the end of the week. Yeah, it's looking really, really good. My head it looks great. <laughs> Paranormal. So, yes, it's going to be great the end of the week three more investigations to do so all right we're going we'll catch you later on to the next one bye, bye.